And good morning. It is Thursday, June 24th, day 55 of my AT 2021. So last night we had quite a number of people there. Um, Swiss Miss and Fives, that's what it was. Fives, uh, they ate dinner and then they pushed on. And then Jaws pushed on. Mountain and Pinky decided to go into Kent and get a room for the night. And then there were two guys, I didn't get their names. And then two that I'd also saw over at the Spiritual Life Center. And right now, their names are not coming to me, but I did write them down in my journal, so I'll try to remember it later. So, I am heading southbound today, going back to my car. I did hear from AT Positive and uh, Ballpark. They are in Connecticut, yay! They're hoping to get to Kent today, maybe Chautauqua Sh Coke campsite, something like that. Going through the Indian Reservation, the only Indian Reservation on the entire AT. They passed the Dover Tree yesterday, so that's cool. So I'm gonna get down this 5.6 back to my vehicle. And then I might be able to go to another boardwalk. We'll see. And then I gotta try to figure out where I'm gonna make camp for tonight. So let's get on the trail. It's time to lick the ticks. <laughs> okay, well, enjoy your trip. Okay, I am back at the spring at the bottom of Silver Hill, and I just met Yeti. Not exactly sure where he's from, definitely has a decided accent by way, by why we were talking, and we talked for quite a while, all of a sudden over his right shoulder, I saw movement. It was a deer laying down on a rock, and its leg had gone up to scratch its ear, and then... He turned around, the deer stood up, and got a picture, and got a video, and the deer just stood there the whole time that we were talking, so that was pretty cool. Um, the other thing that I wanted to mention is Swiss Miss and Fives, I always want to say hands, Fives, did something that I had never heard before, and it was aqua blazing. So she had injured both feet with stretch, stress fracture, stress fractures can't talk this morning and they decided to canoe or kayak the Shenandoah River for quite a while and speaking of rivers back over there is the Housatonic again so I'm about ready to finish up my river walk like I said just came down off of the hill and gorgeous morning out. I will get back with you. Okay, it's not quite nine o'clock. Videoed leaving uh, Silver Hill campsite about a quarter to seven, I believe it was. Quarter to six. I don't know. <laughs> My mind is having a hard time thinking right now. Anyway, so it's just about nine. So yeah, that would have been 8.45. So 6.45. Yeah. So two hours. I've gone 4.4 miles. So I got 1.2 left. And that's with stopping and doing a pee break. Stopping and talking to a couple of people. And I've got maybe about 10 ounces of water left.
have just met the rudest supposed through hiker that says that he's gone 1500 miles. Well, I'm sorry, you haven't gone 1500 miles yet. That's not until about the Massachusetts border. But he was carrying a bag, it's like most likely a sleeping bag. His hip belt was not attached. And they said, hey, why are you carrying your bag? And he just went off. I mean, he obviously has PTSD, a traumatic brain injury, because it was like a spitting image of my son going off for absolutely no reason. I asked a simple question. He goes, you have no right to ask a question like that. You effing whore. Really? Seriously? He needs to have the police arrest him and he needs to go into a mental institution. Because all I did was ask a simple question. I said, I'm a through hiker too. I get it. But he just didn't even want to listen. All he had was his own agenda and that was to be rude, obnoxious. If he's not enjoying the hike and he's got gear problems, get off, get it taken care of. Don't take it out on another hiker. End of story. southbound now, which I'll end up having to go Bobo, back northbound, to 
to my vehicle. But I just wanted to get the boardwalk in. All right, so I made it to the Bulls Bridge Country Store about 10 o'clock this morning and I waited around for AT Positive and Ballpark. Left there a little around two and now I'm back in New York. I wanted to do this boardwalk. Totally forgot about it. So it's not very far. I just went southbound and I'm heading back northbound off of New York Route 22. And there's a little something that I wanna do on the northbound side as well. So tomorrow, AT Positive and Ballpark have a package that's being delivered, one in Kent and one in Cornwall Bridge. So, Plans kind of changed a little bit. I'm going to park up by Falls Village and go southbound to a tent site. And I'll come back down to meet them in Kent, take them up to Cornwall Bridge, and then probably hike maybe two small sections tomorrow, one to a split boulder, kind of like the lemon squeezer. And then the other one is just through like the town of Falls Village that I didn't do going southbound. I went northbound out of there. So just a little bit of extra hiking and trying to wait for them to, to catch up a little bit. So I really like to do the Connecticut Massachusetts border over Bear Mountain, Connecticut with them. Like I said, I'm just trying to wait for them to catch up. But I saw that this boardwalk had the Adirondack chairs with Maine and Georgia on it. So I said, man, I gotta get that. And I asked AT Positive and Ballpark, and they're like, we didn't even see that. So there's these ones, but those are not the Adirondack chairs, so maybe they weren't even paying attention. 
And I'm gonna go ahead and get off of here and finish going through this. Check in with you later. across the road. Not my favorite thing to do. Alright. So, short little hike up here. And I should be able to see what I want. Luckily, I don't need to cross the road again because now I'm on the same side that I parked. And I'm heading northbound. Let's see what I want to see. And then hike back southbound. <laughs> what it is, the Bobo Live. So underneath all that climbing ivy is Herd's Corner Road. So I saw what I wanted to see. The in the sky across the style. The AT actually goes off over that way. See, so I don't even really get to go anywhere near it unless you go through the field. I didn't really want to do that, but I saw what I wanted to see. So now it's back to go southbound. So let me see today, which is Thursday, June 24th, day 55 of my AT21. I have southbound out of Silver Hill campsite. Met up with AT Positive and Ballpark at Bowles Bridge. Drove over to the New York 22, ran across it, saw the train tracks that lead into New York City, hiking southbound across the Swamp River Boardwalk. Turned around and went northbound the railroad tracks and literally ran across New York 22 to that busy road down there that you see and then continued northbound to Herd's Corners Herd Corners Road saw the silo in the sky and now I am heading back down southbound so I went south south north north and now south all in one day so let me see six seven eight about nine miles is where i'm at right now and i still need to drive up to falls village park my vehicle and hike up a hill to a campsite so i will check in with you later There's 
my vehicle off of Route 7. Hopefully it'll be safe tonight. I am now heading southbound to Felter's campsite. And I'm tired. It's been a long day. So I have one full liter. Seven hundred milliliters. One will be for dinner tonight. One will be for breakfast in the morning. And it's only a point seven, but it is like a three hundred foot gain in elevation that I need to do. So getting in the, here a little bit later than what I wanted to. time, I guess. crossing another busy road. Right, looks like the third wooden bridge. Like I said, <laughs> they're not really a bridge. They're basically a four by four, three four by fours. That was close, like I said. At the end of the day, I'm getting tired. This is when I should not be hiking. All right, through there and across the. from Wells Bridge on. And can enter through here. Port southbound. Okay, I have a 200 foot climb and about 0.3, three tenths of a mile. Whew, it's gonna go up. This is called Belter's Bump. A little bump. A pointless up and down on the AT. So, my campsite's supposed to be a little bit through here. Let's see if we can find it. Whew. That was a pretty steep up. A pretty steep down, and the high needles on the rock doesn't make it any easier. Okay, that's southbound, and through here is Belter's campsite. So I do have a privy, a couple of the blue blazes. And we're at air site number one. 
too bad they took care of all the deadfalls. Mm -hmm. The bare bones is right up here. Let's see what else we got. Not very good. tree down stuff is from a storm last fall. So they had trees about that big. They all came down. Be nice if we could clean it up a little bit more. Whew. This is campsite three. dead tree right there. I think that's another dead one. Not that great. I thought there were four sites. What's the privy? I haven't found the privy yet. Still haven't found the privy. Oh boy. I don't know yet. Let me double check my options. Alright, this is 10 side 4. There is the way down on the bear box. <sighs> Looks pretty good. I got a couple places to sit, which would be nice. And I think that way's the privy. So I think this is gonna be where I'm gonna set my tent. Then.